Ooh, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. We've got a really exciting video for you all today. We're gonna be cracking this Espeon VMAX EV Heroes Collection box. I am incredibly excited about this opening. This box is really hard to find and has a lot of insane stuff in it. It's got a alt art Espeon VMAX promo. It's got some sleeves, a deck box, the cool collector's box, and two whole boxes of EV heroes all in this single package. So big thanks to my buddy Sean here at Full Grip Games for helping us to get this EV heroes product. We are going to be protecting all of our hits in these Dragon Shield Perfect Fit Smoke Sleeves. A big thanks to Dragon Shield for providing us with these sleeves to protect our cards with. These are my absolute favorite sleeves for collecting and for playing. Uh, these are great if you like to double sleeve your decks, but also just fantastic for, uh, you know, for sleeving up your hits if you're opening packs. Uh, the Perfect Fit's definitely an awesome choice. And... We are actually live on Twitch right now at the time of filming this, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim. So definitely make sure to check out the Twitch channel if you have not already. We are going to be giving away the sleeves and the deck box. Wow, that come in this collection box live on Twitch. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're missing out. You're missing out because we've got giveaways and giveaways are fun. This is... Definitely the weightiest collection box I have ever held. I mean, it's got some serious heft to it. Like this thing is this thing is big. I can tell that there is there is stuff in this box. And it's just so pretty that uh I almost feel bad opening it. But you know, that's what we're here for. Let's let's get it going. Now we can see on the top of the box, fairy still included, even though fairy type Pokemon, dragon still included as well. Even though fairy and dragon have not been printed during the entire uh, sword and shield block, we have still got fairy and dragon on the top of the box. Okay, and there is the very pretty artwork there on the front of the box. You can see all the different Evolutions present. I mean, look at that. We've got Leafeon, Eevee, Umbreon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Sylveon, Glaceon, Jolteon, and a little, is that like a a Fampy watering can? I don't think it's an actual Fampy. Is that like a, a Fampy watering can or something? I don't know. Anyways, beautiful artwork, I have to say. And the artwork in this set generally is just absolutely bonkers. If you haven't seen any of the artwork revealed from this EV Hero set, you are in for a treat because the artwork for this EV Hero set is just top notch. Some of the best that I've ever seen in the history of the Pokemon at TCG. We can see we got that artwork again displayed on the box. You get the Vaporeon taking a bath, really cool. And uh, up top, the Sylveon there with that. Who is that? That's probably the lady from the, uh, I think that's a character that's on one of the cards in this set. Not exactly sure, but I think so. I think so. Now we're going to get the box open. There are two full boxes of EV heroes contained within this single collection box. That is incredibly hype. So here they are, two full boxes of EV heroes sealed and everything so uh it's just like a box that you would buy you know retail or anything like that uh so we can expect the same amount of hits in them as you would get in a normal booster box we've got the espion v max wow alt art promo card there the sleeves with the same artwork from the box and the deck box also has the same artwork from the box. We're going to be giving away the sleeves and the deck box live on Twitch. Let's take a look at that Espeon VMAX and then put that in 
a sleeve. This card is absolutely gorgeous, and to my knowledge, this is the only way to get the Espeon VMAX right now. This Espeon VMAX Alt Art. This is the only way to uh, to get this card is in this collection box set. And these are really tough to find right now. So I'm extremely excited about this. I've thought about potentially grading this card. It looks like the back does appear to be flawless. That is very nice print on the card. And then there is the Espeon. This is just such a cute artwork. Espeon, like, on the top of that house, just chilling. I love it. Uh, you can imagine this Espeon. It's like Clifford the Big Red Dog, right? Except it's Espeon the Big Purple Cat. Uh, very much giving me some Clifford the Big Red Dog vibes. And we're going to put that card into a sleeve, of course. Actually, I'm really stoked about this because we have an Espeon Gold Star, right? Uh, we have an Espeon Gold Star that we got graded, and I feel like that this would be a you know great addition to the collection for sure. Get that uh, Espeon Alt Art. Go with our Espeon Gold Star. Looking great. Love that card. Very, very excited about it. I think it has an ability as well. Not that I'll be putting this in a deck anytime soon, but it does have an ability that uh, I think prevents all effects of attacks done to your Pokemon with energy attached to them, something like that. Something of the sorts. Now we've got two booster box, and we have a little prediction going on on the Twitch stream. Will we be able to open an alt art card? That I think is the is the big chase card in this set, the alt alternate artworks, alternate artworks for the evolutions, they are astounding. I mean, I saw some of the uh, I saw some of the leaked images of these online, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. So I think we've got probably about a uh, maybe a one in two chance of opening one. So out of the boxes, you know, I think maybe the alt arts come about every other box or so, but it's hard to say because the set is so new. And, uh, you know, I think we're guaranteed maybe one secret rare per box. And we can see inside the box of, inside the box, we've got that awesome artwork on the back. Just a nice display for the booster box. Let's go ahead and get cracking for our first box of Eevee Heroes. Now, my favorite evolution. I don't know. Let me know in the chat. What's your favorite evolution? Everybody's got a favorite. You're not allowed to not have a favorite evolution, right? Everybody's gotta have one. What's your favorite evolution? Uh, if you're on YouTube, let me know in the comments below. Which card are you most excited to open out of the EV Heroes set? Or which card are you most excited about in general from the EV Heroes set? Uh, it's a tough call between, I think, between Jolteon. Whew! There is Espeon V. First pack magic there. Got a nice Espeon V. First pull of the opening. I mean, Espeon and Umbreon are amazing, right? I think Jolteon or Vaporeon might be my favorite, though. Uh, I really love Jolteon. I also played Jolteon GX and some of my Zapdos decks from a few years ago. So I definitely have, uh, have some connection to Jolteon. And then Vaporeon also is just so sick. So probably between Jolteon and Vaporeon, though Espeon and Umbreon are also just undoubtedly cool, right? This appears to be some sort of, I, I never know what, you know, the bonus cards, like what, can someone decipher like what actually is going on here? Like, are they telling me, is this like a, a treasure map? Like, is this a game? It's a puzzle game. It's a logic puzzle. Got it, okay. Cause I was like, what is the trainer thing? I, I don't know. 
As a do as a doko, yeah. Uh, that's pretty neat, though. You definitely you got to dig that. Uh, I feel like there's always something something interesting going on with the uh, you know with those little bonus cards that are included in the Japanese packs. So we've got the full Espeon VMAX line already, which is fantastic. I would definitely love to pull uh, the Vaporeon. I think is just really good, just from seeing. Uh, some translations online. Vaporeon VMAX seems like it's, you know, sure to be one of the best cards from this set. And this this is the, oh, that's another puzzle. That's that's cool. This is the ball, I think, that uh, you can only play it if you take it from a prize card, right? Which is really funny. So if you are lucky and you pull that, uh, you pull that, uh, you know, that ball card from the prizes. Oh, look at the Mudkip. You just look at it with the Sandy Gast. It's got the world's most depressed Sandy Gast in this set, Chad. It's so sad. Why is the Sandy Gast having such a bad time? Uh, I don't, I don't know. But it's in the background of the Mudkip card. Definitely dig that. Swaddle. Little Tynamo. The Kangaskhan who can kick his leggy out really far. You got to put some respect on that on that rapid strike Kangaskhan for sure. Sports drink. There we are. Evolution sports beverage. You can instantly evolve your Pokemon up even if it's the first turn of the game. Love it. Really stoked on that card too. It's nice to get some playables out of this... Uh, out of this EV Hero set, that's for sure. The Evolution G Fuel. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that artwork as well. The uh, Impidimp. What is he, scaring the substitute? That's mean. Why would you do that? Oh, oh boy. Look at him. Oh, the Meryl just hanging out. Oh my goodness. Just grabbing its little little tail oh he's so cute so oh, i can't even oh why did they have to make the merrills are so cute and there it is the world's saddest sandy ghast that there ever was chad this is this is the world's saddest sandy ghast it doesn't get any more sad than this uh, that is <laughs> just having having a bad time out there Somebody stole a seaweed, and he's not happy. And Levani, okay, excellent. And uh, what is that, a Floet? A Flay Baby? A Floet? Rapid Strike? Flay Baby? Floet? Flay Baby Junior? Flay Baby Senior? One of those two. The middle ones, you know, the middle evolutions, Chess. They're always so troubling. A little Dupedeer. Excellent. Pikachu in a field full of flowers. Kind of reminds me of the scene in the new Pokemon Snap. Manaphy? Is that? No, Mantine. Mantine. Oh, Swampert. Look at that boy. Swampert has definitely been growing on me a lot. I've been playing a lot of 2004 formats. The Ruby, what is it? Not the Ruby. Team Aqua, Team Magma set, right? I don't know, one of the original, yeah, Ruby and Sapphire. Um, yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking. One of the original Swamperts, right? It was just so good. The one that has the water call. Uh, Pokemon power that allows you to attach an extra energy. It's a lot of fun to play with. I really love that Swamper deck. You get to play with Swamper EX as well, which is just such a cool card. And then we've got Marsh Stomp in the same pack, Swamper and Marsh Marsh Stomp. I think these guys are some of the coolest water starters in the history of the Pokemon TCG. That Marsh Stomp, just having a good old time there. Love Marsh Stomp. That is a uh, beautiful artwork on that card for sure. And another little brain teaser for you. Sick. Hunting for alternate arts. The alternate art cards are just incredible. Uh, I think that the Pokemon Company has been doing uh, an absolutely phenomenal job. Whew. 
Glacian. What's up? Look at that. Awesome artwork. These kind of have like a cell shaded vibe to them, uh, which I like. I think that the art style on these, it's consistent. It looks cool for all the, uh, the base Pokemon Vs. I think that, that is a uh, it's really neat art style. And then we've got the what the elemental badge or whatever you want to call this, the elemental badge, elemental something that you can attach to your uh Vaporeon or your Jolteon or your um Flareon and you can make its attack cost one colorless less. So this card is really good as well. I think it's going to be very strong with your Vaporeon VMAX and your Jolteon VMAX. Yeah, that badge is definitely going to be one of the most powerful cards in the sets. Still got that. What is the uh, the Panda? Yeah, a little Pancham. Smeargle. Man, when I first started playing the Pokemon TCG, the Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, I forget what set it was in. It might have been Call of Legend. It was reprinted. It was printed in something, and then it was reprinted. Uh, the smear goal that allows you to copy supporter cards, man, that smear goal was so good. You know, and ever since then, I still can't look at smear goal the same. Smear goal is just such a powerful card in my mind, uh, based on that. <laughs> the the smear goal from the uh, Undaunted smear goal, so good. This melodic is actually really cool as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the melodic that makes it so that your opponent can't play any cards from their hand to disrupt your hand, right? Something like that. Um, it might just be supporter cards, but it, it might also affect recess Sam. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But this is a very cool card. Uh, if you're tired of having your hand marnied, then uh, that does no longer affects your... Uh, affects your hand. I guess so they can play the Marnie. Yes, it just does, doesn't affect your hand anymore, which is very good. And then there's this dude. Is this Peony? I forget who this dude is. That's not Peony. Is that po is that Peony? He might be Peony. Is that the discard your hand? No. That's Gordy. Thanks, chat. Gord Peony has got the... That's right. Peony has got the... Uh, Peony has got the like the snow stuff on. That's right, that's right. All right, Flabebe. And we got a little Swadloon or something or another. Okay, yeah, cool. And Tynamo. Persian, looking real nice. And then there's the, this is the stadium where you can pick up your tools and put your tools down wherever you want. Very neat. So if you accidentally put your tool card down on the wrong Pokemon, that stadium, you can fix it right on up. Yeah, there you go. That's Guy Fieri. True. It is kind of Guy Fieri. Kind of got some... It's kind of got some Guy Fieri vibes. Yo, let me see all those sad cat emotes in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, we just got some brand new emotes commission. So big shout out to Mori, who does an amazing job with our emotes. Uh, we got some incredible ones over on Twitch. So again, I know, shamelessly plugging my own Twitch channel. Well, I do spend like, you know, five hours a day there live. So <laughs> it really is, we spend a lot of time over here. Uh, we got some amazing new emotes and I love the Sad Cat Meowth. It's one of our favorite, one of my favorite emotes that Mori has done for us. Uh, Meowth is just such an iconic Pokemon. Love that we have a Meowth emo now. We are also looking for the Electrode. I think there is a new Electrode in this set. Natalie is a collector of trodes. My wonderful fiance, Natalie, who does so much for the channel and this community. So uh, absolutely very, very thankful for Natalie and all she does for the channel. And uh, would love it if we could pull an Electrode, the new Electrode from this set. To, uh, to give to Natalie. Natalie is working on a complete all language collection of electrodes because electrode is one of her favorite Pokemon. So she's trying to get every electrode ever printed. I think there are somewhere in the ballpark of 400 different electrodes in all languages. So this would cross one off her list if we were able to pull it. Now this Voltorb, 
of course, is a Kamiya artwork. Kamiya's got some of the best artwork uh, in the Pokemon TCG, that's for sure. I'm a big fan, big fan. And then Single Strike Entei and uh, Impidimp Senior. All right. Impidimpier. Impidimp, Impidimpier. Yeah, Impidimp Tall Teenage Version. Morgrim. All right, excellent. Thanks, chat. Up next, we finally got an Eevee. It's a very cute Eevee artwork. Azumarill. Oh, what's what's his name? Oh, I know, Gossy Fleur. That's right. There it is, chats. There it is. Natalie, come collect your trode. We've got them. Single strike electrode. Beautiful looking card. Would you look at that? We've got them. The Trode Boy. We pulled the Uncommon, Chad. Honestly, would have been pretty upset had we not been able to find this Uncommon Electrode. Yes. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Get that nice and protected for you, Natalie. Excellent. Counts as a hit. Oh, yeah. That's a big hit for us. Most definitely. Phenomenal. Oh, looks like we might have something in this pack. Quiet. Don't want to scare it away. Oh, we got Slugma. Mawile. So while Mawile's a Pokemon, who well, like I used to think Mawile was super cool, right? But then after getting Mawile GX so many times in standard format, now I just can't look at Mawile the same. Now every time I look at Mawile, I'm like, mm, I, I ought to, mm, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right. So Waddle and. Oh my gosh, we got Umbreon VMAX. Check that out. This is definitely one of, and a Palosand. I'm pretty sure Natalie collects some Palosands too, so I'll set that aside for her. Umbreon VMAX. Check it out. It's got the uh, ability that allows you to bring up one of your opponent's Pokemon on their bench into the active position when you evolve it. Very strong ability. I expect this card to see a bunch of play. Uh, gusting on evolution is very, very good. Uh, I'm definitely stoked about that pull. This is going to be a pretty sought after card, I believe. So that is fantastic. And we've got Palosand for uh, for Natalie. So we'll set set that aside too. Uh, I don't know. Is it Palosand or Sandy Gas? I think she collects Palosands. So I'll set the Palosand aside. I know that Natalie has a shiny Palosand in one of her games. And uh, that's one of her favorite Pokemon, for sure. We've got some hype hits so far. Zerua. Rotom. And just like every hit is an evolution. That's insane. I mean, you can see how... This is the lady from the box, okay? This is... I, I've seen you. All right, where, where are you at? This is the lady from the box. Who is this? Who is she? chat is it a Roma lady yeah you're the, this is the lady I was thinking about from the box I didn't know who it was it's a Roma lady all right thanks chat just a Roma lady no but it's the same it's the same lady I want that credit all right I figured it out I found Waldo all right I found Waldo chat yeah we, we've seen it Pangoro, the world's cutest Azumarill. Swadloon, I love Raichu. Raichu rocks. Yeah, this Raichu is sick. I think this Raichu is the one that's got the attack. It does 50 damage, right? Yes, 50 damage to all Pokemon V and Pokemon GX in play for one lightning energy. So a big spread attack from that Raichu, and then 180 damage on the second attack. Got some awesome artwork as well. Wrote them there in the background. And then this is the prize energy, right? Prize energy. Uh, where something, I don't know, you draw it from your, oh, why am I sleeving that? No, 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 no. Back, in, back into the pack with, back into the pile with you. Yeah, dream energy. 
Yes, you pull it from your prizes and you can attach it to whoever you want. It's pretty busted. World saddest Sandy Guest, Tynemo. And Rapid Strike Marshado as our hollow rare. Marshado, certainly a Pokemon that has grown on me uh, over time. Marshado has had a bunch of good cards throughout the time that it has been uh, revealed, or since I guess since it has existed in the Pokemon TCG, right? Uh, we got Marshado GX. Um, forget what set that was from. Was it Burning Shadows? Burning Shadows? And then there's also the Let Loose Marshado from what the, the special set, Let Loose Marshado. Shining something, something or another. Was it not Shining? Hidden Fates? Not Hidden Fates. Sun and Moon set. What is it? I know you guys know. Shining Legends. That was I knew there was a Shining in it. Yeah, Shining Legends. That's right. We were close, chat. Man, you guys remember Turn 1 Let Loose with Marshadow? Those were the days. Turn 1 set my opponent to a four-card hand. What you gonna do about it? And there's our Kangaskhan. Wrapping up the first half of box number one. Rounding on to the back nine. Got another Voltorb. Mawile. The Dream Ball and Pinsir. The Pinsir, what? The Pinsir's got an ability that does something. Oh, it turns off resistances for your single strike Pokemon. That's that's what I do. Turns off res no resistances for you. Smeargle. Eldegoss. Pretty sure the Eldegoss has got an ability you can end your turn by searching your deck for two energy cards and then put them into your hand uh could be good for just getting energy you know out of the deck but i don't know it ends your turn so probably not the most it doesn't enter oh i take it back doesn't enter that's a cool ability then all right i take it back chat eldegoss got an ability it just gets two energy from your deck puts it into your hand doesn't end turn well, now we're talking, right? Now we're talking. Very cool little ability. These kinds of abilities have uh, have seen play before. I mean, there's the the Starmie from Evolutions was probably the one of the best cards in Evolutions, which is hilarious because Evolutions is a super you know sought after set right now. Whew. Vaporeon, let's go. Rapid Strike Vaporeon evolves into that. Rapid Strike Vaporeon V Max, which is very good. Gets a uh, water Pokemon from your discard pile, slaps it straight onto the bench. Doesn't matter if it's a Pokemon V Max, doesn't matter if it's a, uh, you know, basic or whatever. And then you can attach three water energy to it. Is it. Just a water Pokemon, the VMAX, does it get a water Pokemon from the discard pile or any Pokemon from your discard pile? Anyways, it's a pretty uh, pretty gnarly card either way. The Vs all look really cool. It's only water. That's what I thought. I mean, look at these Pokemon V. They all have this kind of matching cell shaded art style to them, which is just super neat. Uh, they all look really nice in a collection next to one another. That's for sure. Love the art style on those. There's the full arts too. And I don't know you're you're guaranteed one secret rare. Not guaranteed. I don't know. Maybe you're guaranteed. I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed one secret rare per box. So we're still waiting on our secret rare. Haven't hit it yet. There is a pull in this pack though. Sylvia. Wow. I mean, we're just uh we're collecting them all. Let's see. Do you think that I can get every single base? I mean, that would be extremely hype. Do you think that we can get every single base, uh, you know, Evolution V in our two boxes? Can I get Vaporeon, Glaceon, Leafeon, Espeon, Umbreon, Flareon, all of them? You think we can get all of them? That would be pretty hype. Now, it's looking like we have... Uh, it's looking like we've had one of each so far. No doubles. So that is 
That is very, very exciting. Up next, Jupiter, Electra, elect, Electric, Azamero, Electros. Yes, there we go. Sports drink. Speaking of sports drink, I'm going to need to get myself a beverage. I am feeling like I need a coffee. I'm feeling like I need a, a midday overpriced coffee beverage. Anybody anybody else feel me on that? Just like it's about time that I go and get myself a nice overpriced midday coffee. That's the latte did not come through. No, <laughs> I placed an order, you know, it was never guaranteed. I just, I sent a text out to Sean. I was like, hey, Sean, you think I can get a latte? Uh, the answer was no. Yeah, apparently did not pass the latte machine on the way to work. There is a holographic uh, Grimmsnarl single strike. And that is absolutely terrifying. We're going to go ahead and just put that right back into the pile. Yep. And a, another marsh top. All right, we're cooking now. See if we can get a full art, something like that. We've got this, this dude, yeah, Florges. Holographic rare Florges. I'm pretty sure this Florges, Florges ability does something. I cannot remember what it is. I remember it being kind of neat though, but I don't remember. So if anybody in the chat remembers what Florges does, that'd be pretty epic. It moves energy around? Uh -huh. Oh, that is pretty neat. That's right. It allows you to move your energy wherever you want during your turn. To another Rapid Strike Pokemon? Something like that, right? Indeedy. Carrying some sandwiches or uh, or something like that. So yes, or books. They're not sandwiches. But, man, I am hungry. So maybe, maybe I need to go get a sandwich. That would be nice. We got Mudkip. Pangoro. The, uh, the Melodic. Yes. And uh, Fle Bebe. Each, yeah, it's carrying books. It's actually a librarian. Indeedy. Indeedy. I think that seems to be the the kind of uh, character of Indeedy that I'm seeing, right? Is there an Indeedy in... There's not an Indeedy in Pokemon Snap. Am I thinking about Audino? Okay, we've got the Zork which you can discard, right? So you can evolve into Zorark. Then you can discard Zorark and swap it with whatever stage one Pokemon you want in your discard pile. So it kind of allows you to build these toolbox style decks, which I think is pretty neat. But you do have to have the, the Zorark all set up and ready to go. So pretty interesting ability. Not sure it's um, super competitively viable, but a very cool ability nonetheless i think we all are just missing ditto prism star if we could just get you know just bring ditto Prism. now i understand that prism stars are done i understand you don't have to bring back prism stars just bring back one just ditto prism star you can let all the other prism stars go but i miss i miss ditto prism star man it's just not the same without ditto prism star Evolution decks just aren't the same, Chad. An A spec, yeah, reprint A spec ditto. You don't have to bring back any A specs, but just ditto. Yeah, Mag Cargo. Phoebus. Glaceon V Max. There we go. Glaceon V Max got this ability that prevents all damage done to it by other Pokemon V Max, excluding Glaceon V Max. So it's kind of got. A, um, it's got an ability similar to Zamazenta V, which is very, very neat. And it is a water type Pokemon, so you could set it up with the new, um, could set it up with the new Glacian or Vaporeon V Max as well, right? So I think, what, since we got the Umbreon, there's got to be an Umbreon V in this, in this box, right? I'm pretty sure. Do they give you the V Max without the V? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they don't give you the V Max without the V, right? But I don't know. Who knows? We're all just figuring this out. 
We got Voltorb, Dupiter. There's only a couple packs left, so. Electrode number two. Let's go, chat. Two electrodes. And we've got two packs remaining in the first box. Still feel like, oh, there is a pull in this pack. Okay. Sandy Gast, Slugma, Mantine. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Check that out. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. <laughs> Alt Art Umbreon V. Let's go. This is so insane, dude. This is the one. Oh, yeah, dude. If we were going to pull any Alt Art, the Umbreon V is definitely the one to do. Umbreon V is just so insane. Such a cool card, and it evolves into Umbreon VMAX, arguably one of the best Umbreons in, or one of the best Umbreons, probably one of the best Umbreons ever printed, probably. Uh, at least top five, top five, top five, top five. <laughs> and then uh, also, this is arguably one of, the, one of the best evolutions in this set. Gotta love that. Now, let's take a look at the Umbreon. It's got like a... Some pincer, okay, and some gang of pincers and grimsnarls in a dark alley. You really don't want to run into the pincer and grimsnarl gang, all right, when you're uh, when, when you're walking through a dark alley, okay. But this Umbreon looks like it does not care, not at all, not looking intimidated in the slightest. In fact, is giving them a mean look. They're just gonna keep on walking, aren't they? That's what's up. Umbreon, beautiful card. I feel like it matches the vibe of the new studio as well. And you guys, any of you guys feeling that? Yeah, the Umbreon with like the whole brick alley thing. I'm just saying, kind of matches the vibe of the new studio, does it not? Right? Yeah. Love it. Meant to be, chat. It's meant to be. Let's go. I cannot believe we pulled this card. That is just incredible. Incredible. Yeah, Tom says, nail it to the wall. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go, chat. Let's just let's just go ahead and pin it up. We'll just yeah, just I got some thumbtacks right over here. Yeah, we'll just we'll just thumbtack it to the wall. What do you guys say? Press one in the chat if we should just thumbtack it to the press one in the chat if we should thumbtack it to the wall, right through the middle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and our last pack. Merrill, Indeedy, Swadaloon. Yeah, some Umbreon Espeon charm thing. And uh, yeah, the Palo Sand. Very good, very good. Box number two. We were lucky enough to get the Umbreon V Alt Art in that first box. And our, uh, let's see, I think the the belief that if you get the VMAX, you're guaranteed the V, I think that that seems to hold true. I mean, we got the Umbreon VMAX and the Altar Umbreon V. We got the Glaceon VMAX, Glaceon V. Seems to be the way things go in uh, in these booster boxes. Let's see, can we get a second Altar? I mean, the Altarts, I think, are the, are the chase cards, at least for me personally, in the set. I, Jolteon's got a really cool one as well. I think that uh, the Flareon might be one of my favorite alt arts from the set. The Flareon's alt art, I think, would be the most insane one. That's the one. Oh my gosh, do they have those God Packs? Is that a thing too? Um, my goodness. Oh, Crollo, thank you for that sub in the nine months. Let's get cracking, Pangoro Swaddle. Got a second Zorark and another Sp Sports beverage, man. I played uh, played some backyard sports for the first time in a long time this weekend, and I am still incredibly sore from the experience. I played some spike ball. Uh, I played some backyard football as well, some two-hand touch, and, man, uh, I got a bruised knee. Uh, I almost, I, like, tweaked, tweaked out my hamstring. I mean, I was, like... 
I was definitely limping off the the field. Okay, I uh, I almost <laughs> almost had a really bad time. I felt my hamstring tweak up. Got another Sylveon V. Let's go. I felt my hamstring uh, tweak up and uh, and had to had to <laughs> had to <laughs> hobble off the field uh, to make sure that I did not further further injure myself you know uh growing up my dad played in an over 30 soccer league um and i have a whole new appreciation you know when i was a kid i was like oh yeah my dad's playing in an over 30 soccer league like that's yeah, that's normal that's cool but now that i'm like 32 i'm like dang man if i played in an if i played in an over 30 soccer league like i'm not sure that i would <laughs> Uh, I would probably get injured real bad, man. You know, my body feels like it's falling apart, bro. Uh, so it's funny to have that perspective now on the other side of 30 myself. Got a holographic Swampert and the Dream Energy in that pack. But, you know, it's it, playing team sports is different. Uh, it's just different. It's a different kind of exhausting. I still go for runs and stuff. No way. All right, let's go. Two Umbreon VMAX. I can't even believe it. Here's another Umbreon VMAX. Single strike Umbreon VMAX. I am incredibly hyped that we're pulling this card because this card is just one of the best cards in the set. So I am incredibly, incredibly hyped. And that means that we're guaranteed another Umbreon, right? So I'm going to have, at least it would seem, a 2-2 two, two Umbreon uh, in my collection. Not that I'll be putting the single strike, uh, not that I'll be putting the single strike Umbreon that we pulled the alternative art in a deck anytime soon. Um, and the reason I won't be able to put it in a deck is because we're gonna just tack it to the wall. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're just gonna take the, <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna tack it up to the wall of the studio. So I won't be able to play it in my decks because it'll be, yeah, too busy on display in the background of my uh in the background of my studio right got another electrode there i love the artwork on that new electrode as well it's super cool but like i said team sports are just exhausting right um they're just exhausting and i feel like i'm in good shape right for sure i could still run for miles i go for runs you know pretty often I can still skateboard really well, but there's just something exhausting about it. we were playing backyard football and my goodness, yeah, it was it's a different kind of workout. And I have uh I just haven't um haven't done the kind of like, you know, running and juking required in order to play backyard football. I have not done that in a long time. So that was particularly exhausting. Um the team sports yeah, the team sports are particularly exhausting for sure. There we go. We got another Glaceon. Glaceon V to go with our uh, two, our, yeah, I guess we had a 2-1 Glaceon VMAX line so far, so that is very hype. Yeah, it's just not the kind of workout I'm used to. I mean, I can skateboard for, you know, for a long time. I'm pretty used to that. Just it's been so long. I was literally, I was thinking in my mind, like when was the last time I played a sport like backyard football or soccer? or even basketball, it's been years since I've played like, uh, you know, a sport outside, you know, with uh, with the team. So I definitely got myself real exhausted and uh, <laughs> I probably won't be skating on the Tricky Gym skate ramp here in the studio, uh, at least for another day or so, because I, I did really have to have to ice and rest up my hamstring. That was uh, that was scary for sure. Marshadow and Gordy. We got Gordy Ramsey or uh, Gordy. Who are chat was saying that Gordy looks like I don't know one of those chefs, right? One of those Guy Fieri. Yeah, that's it. Flavor Town featuring Gordy. That's I think that's who we were joke, joking about. There we go. Sports drink again. And we've got one more half of the box to go. Three hits so far. Three hits in. Got another one of the elemental badge cards. It's great. 
but we don't really have any of the Flareon, or we haven't seen a Flareon yet. We haven't seen a Leafeon yet. Haven't seen Vaporeon VMAX. We got Espeon V. Beautiful. So now we've got a 2 1 Espeon VMAX line, counting our Espeon VMAX promo that we got with the box, which is epic. And of course, we're going to be giving away the deck box and the sleeves to one lucky viewer here live on Twitch. I guess two lucky viewers because we have two entrants are going to be drawn one for the deck box and one for the sleeves. So if you're watching on YouTube again, definitely make sure to scope out the Twitch channel so that you can enter to win our giveaways that we uh, that we host here. Yes, and of course subs, yeah, the busted subs. Busted Twitch subs, subs do get boosted luck. And there we go with a Leafeon VMAX card. That's is awesome. We haven't pulled a Leafeon yet, so this is going to be our first Leafeon that we have seen out of EV Heroes. A very, very cool card. I think Leafeon V has some sort of ability uh, that allows you to accelerate energy from, I think, your hand into play, which is super neat. And that means that we haven't seen Flareon, any of the Flareon stuff yet. We haven't seen any of the Jolteon stuff yet and as far as vaporeon goes we uh we have only seen a vaporeon v and not a vaporeon v max so still a lot to find in this ev heroes set and it's crazy that all the hits are evs but it's still tough to find them all for sure and there are so many different alt art chase cards, things like that in this set as well. Uh, I would expect this set to age very well. You know, uh, some sets you just you just know. Yeah, this is a set based entirely entirely around the evolutions. They've never released an evolutions only set before, right? There he is, Jolteon V. I love it. Jolteon is probably my favorite evolution. I am incredibly stoked to have the Jolteon V, uh, evolves into Jolteon V Max, which has a very strong attack, it does 100 damage, and then 100 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon that already has a damage counter on it. And with the Elemental Badge card, you can use that for just one energy. And we love to see it. All right. So I think we're guaranteed Leafeon V, Will we get an alt art Leafeon V? That would be would be something, huh? We go two for two on the uh, alt arts. The odds of that are, I have to say, extremely low. I would not, yeah, not very good odds of that happening, but it is possible. We're getting down to the final packs, and I feel like we still got. Yeah, we have four packs left, not counting this one. We've still got some hits to see. Dream Ball and Electros. So we're going to slow roll these final four. See what we get to round out our Eevee Heroes opening. Got Eevee, Azumarill, Gossy Fleur. Flareon Full Art. Wow, that is a beautiful card. Look at that single strike. Flareon V. That is hype for sure. We hadn't opened any Flareons yet. So this is our first Flareon. And I believe that this means that I will have gotten one of every one, right? At least one of every uh, different if, if we open the leafy on here in the end then right then we will have potentially 
one of each evolution. Is there anything that I'm forgetting? And I've got the Espeon. We've got the Umbreon. We've got... There's a regular Umbreon V, which is awesome. So that goes with our Umbreon V Max. And then this last pack, if our predictions are correct, and there is Umbreon V Single Strike Umbreon. Looking mighty fine there. This last pack should have a Leafeon in it, I imagine, which would mean that the only regular non-V that I didn't get was Flareon. So we almost got a complete set. Sarua? Rotom? Yeah. Dupiter Senior Guy? Sawaddle? Nope. Okay, so you can open a VMAX without the V. That's like one of the first times I feel like that's ever happened. Araquanid, that's it. Yeah, so no V. We got no Leafeon V. I feel like they almost always pair up. I've never seen that. But uh, eh, eh, anyways, it's cool. Just a coincidence. I don't know. It usually, it, it happens pretty consistently. Uh, it really does. Uh, especially with other uh, other Japanese booster boxes that I've opened. It has been pretty, uh, pretty dependable. Okay? Pretty dependable. But maybe it's just a higher chance. Anyways, we've got some incredible, incredible openings from this Espeon VMAX box. I mean, let's just take a look through what we uh, what we found in our opening. Uh, of course, we've got the Espeon VMAX uh, alt art promo that came with the box set. And then I think we pulled a couple of Espeon Vs as well. So we've got a nice 2-1 Espeon VMAX line. We pulled Glaceon VMAX and 2 Glaceon V. So that is very hype as well. We pulled two Umbreon V Max and two Umbreon V. Pulled a Glaceon V Max or a, a Leafeon V Max and no Leafeon V. We got a Flareon V Full Arts. We got Jolteon V, two Sylveon V, and a Vaporeon V. All from two booster boxes of EV Heroes that came in our. EV collection box, EV Heroes collection box. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely make sure to scope out the Twitch channel if you have not already, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community here and we'd love to have you as a part of it. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or a new booster box, Make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.